YouTube. This is Mr. Mean coming at you this fine Wednesday afternoon. Uh, I'm going to apologize in advance if you hear a little toddler running around and screaming because, well, he's being a toddler. Um, this is just a quick video to kind of go over the streaming equipment and all the hardware that I use to run Mr. Mean Speaks. And it's nothing miraculous, but I've had a couple of people ask and stuff so and to be honest it's it's relatively inexpensive to get started you don't need to buy you know the uber expensive equipment which i'm living proof of uh so to get started with the the pc that i use is a m1 2021 mac mini my uh my hp z book was giving me some artifact noise and so i did, decided to switch over to my macbook pro i have a 2012 uh macbook pro and like i said it's been working great but then the the uh HDMI port on it went out and I could have pulled it apart and soldered on a new uh, port and everything but I it, it, it was you know it's eight plus years old uh, and it's been a great MacBook Pro and it's the first one with the retinal display and it had the best keyboard on it uh, and it was funny because I went on Apple and I did a trade-in to see what it was worth uh, plus I wouldn't have to worry about properly disposing of it if I traded it in for a new I knew I was going to get a Mac mini because I don't need a Mac laptop I have an iPad uh, uh, an iPad Pro uh, 12, well, I think it's a 12.9, the 2021 iPad Pro. So there was no need to go buy uh, another MacBook Pro when I have when I have an iPad Pro that does every pretty much everything my my uh, laptop could do. So I went and got the baseline M1 Mac Mini, the 699 version. And lo and behold, Apple gave me uh, right at $300 for my MacBook Pro. And so I traded it in. They sent me a box. I sent it in. I got the Mac Mini in like less than a week. It was pretty awesome. And I'm up and running full time now on the Mac. I'm happy to be in the Apple ecology. I, I enjoy it. You know, I have my MacBook Pro. I have my iPhone. Uh, work pays for my iPhone. If I had my personal druthers, I'd probably have an Android phone. But it's nice that my iPhone syncs with my computer and does everything. Although you can kind of sync an Android phone with your Mac too. It, it's but it is it is nice that I can AirDrop and do everything from all three devices. So uh, the camera I use. So that's the PC I use. The camera I use is a Logitech. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, Logitech C920 uh, HD. Uh, 1080 by uh, 1080p uh, USB camera. It works great. I've had it for a little bit over two years now, I think, um, and it's it's worked great. I've got no problems with it. the video clarity is is really nice, as you can see. Um, everything is fine. Um, I have a blue snowball microphone that I've I've bought uh, about two years ago, maybe a year and a half ago. It works great. I have it on this uh, rather cheap Amazon arm that I bought, but it, uh, it's fully adjustable and you don't hear too much noise coming from it. And I can swivel it around and I can swivel it out of the way uh, when I want to watch my monitors. Um, keyboard and mouse are Logitech. I have an MX Master S 2S mouse. Uh, it works great. I love it. It's very ergonomic for my chubby, fat hands. I, I don't particularly have very large hands but I have very meaty hands and so this mouse fits very comfortably for me um, the keyboard is an ergonomic keyboard by Logitech I just got this like a week ago and I am very happy with it you can see it's kind of funky shaped like that s shape um, and I was noticing some wrist problems because I'm working a lot more at home in my office at work I have a sit to stand desk so I can raise and lower and but sitting in this position at home is not the greatest and so I was noticing some wrist fatigue and so I thought hmm uh, you know, I have this keyboard at work. My work provided it to me, so I thought, hmm, I'll just buy my own. And I did, and it is a fantastic. I highly recommend it. I bought mine as an open box item on Amazon, so I think normally they're one twenty nine. I think I got mine for a hundred and nine. So I say I saved twenty bucks, I think, on Amazon as an open box item. It came in the original Logitech box. I could tell it had been opened, but it was packaged up very well, and there appears to be nothing wrong with it. So it's working great. Um I have a Stream Deck Mini, uh, which is six ports. 
Uh, it works uh, fabulously. I have no problems with it. It does everything I need it to do. I am learning. I didn't use it for this video, but uh, when I do a lot of my videos, I can do the intro and everything and stuff like that. And so um, it's fun. I need to get in the habit of using it more. I've just, to be honest, I forgot to use it for this video. Um, my desk is just a generic gamer desk bought off of Amazon for like 80 bucks. The top surface is mouse, laser mouse compatible or optical mouse compatible. And so um, I can use my mouse on it and I, I have no problems moving the mouse around it. And it actually feels pretty nice, but I'm just a grognard and I'm used to having a mouse pad and I have the very awesome Cataclysm World of Warcraft uh, mouse pad from years ago when I bought the collector's box of Cataclysm. So I use it. It's a fond memory, and uh, I really enjoy it. The, the mouse pad is a big dragon, and I like dragons. Uh, my office chair is a generic office chair from Office Max. I think it cost me 40 bucks. Uh, hindsight being 2020, I wish I would have spent the money and got a slightly better chair that's a little more ergonomically friendly um, because I spent a lot of time in this chair because I don't have a sit-to-stand in my office anymore at home. Reason being is because I have these lovely uh, dual monitors uh, I have uh, two TCL 32-inch Roku-enabled uh, monitors. Uh, I'm going to pull the camera off so you guys can see them. Uh, so I apologize if it gets a little... Oh, I can't because the camera is actually cable cable managed and so it won't look but take my word i have two monitors on a v arm so i can raise and lower them uh and adjust them and it's two 32 inch monitors i do i work in it support so i need a lot of screen real estate and to be honest when i run my pathfinder and other games on foundry it's really nice to have all of this screen real estate real estate um what else do we have oh and i have some creative uh, speakers, they're just, uh, I, I bought them off of Amazon not too long ago. They have a nice subwoofer. They sound really good, and I, I like them a lot, and they have a nice knob. They're uh, oval in their design. They're like little balls that sit on my desk facing me, uh, and a volume knob on there with a big green light that lets me know they're powered on. So they work really well. I'm very happy with them. Uh, I will say the nice thing about the TCL TV, though, is... Uh, one remote controls both TVs, so that's kind of cool. Um, so I have a spare remote uh, if anything happens to this one. And uh, these are uh, Roku-enabled, uh, so I can watch Hulu, I can watch uh, HBO Max, you know, if I want to just get out, you know, and get away or let, let Mama watch whatever it is that she wants to watch. Um, I can still watch what I want to watch in here because everything's Wi-Fi. Uh, the Mac Mini is hard-lined uh, into my home network, uh, so I have... I have pretty good speeds. I think I have about, uh, I think, 120 consistently down uh, and uh, 20, 26, I think uh, roughly uh, right around 26 megs up. So um, my Internet's fine. Um, and like I said, I do a lot of heavy IT work at home uh, for my day job. And so it bandwidth is not an issue. And I'm remoting into servers and people and everything all across the area. And I have no problems. So uh, it works. Um, let's see what else. I think that guys covers it. I just wanted to do a, a quick video of all the equipment I used. Um, I'm not going to put a list in the, in the show notes. It's, it's not really worth it. Um, this is all pretty common equipment that you can pick up the Roku, uh, the TCL 32 inch Roku enabled TVs. I bought at Best Buy for about 160 each. Um, and I bought one to start with, and I realized that I really need two monitors. And so I was like, I could, I have a smaller, I think, 24-inch curved gaming monitor. And I could have hooked it up, and I thought, well, that would just look dumb. So I just decided to go out and buy another another uh, TV, 32-inch. And it is pretty big, but, man, the real estate is nice. And if, if you can get away with it and you have the space, I highly recommend it. So um that's really about it guys i just wanted to give a shout out uh to jay over at feral games inc because i've reviewed two of his games and i've got a third one that i'm working on uh that he uh did and i'm really enjoying the games and and going and looking at them and um a big shout out to zadmar as well of zadmar games because he does his tricube uh, uh engine and his one sheets that he's he was doing a lot of savage world stuff and now he's converting over to his own game system called tricube uh and it's phenomenal go give it a check out i did a review on it go check it out uh, it's in the archives uh 
you know, as always, peace and hair grease. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Uh, our goal for 2021 is to try and get to a thousand subscribers. We are at, I think, 881 or 882. I'm not sure. So we're getting close, guys. And it's all because of you guys. So thank you very much. And as always, peace and hair grease. And remember, as soon as I find my mouse here, <laughs> uh, Mr. Mean says, be nice. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. If there's something else you want to see, if there's a certain game you want reviewed, just reach out to me, jpolak at gmail.com. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great evening.